Welcome back folks. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create lightsaber effects for photography. What I have on screen is the final result of what I'm going to show you today. So I do all my photo taking and editing on my iPhone 11 if you're wondering. And I use this app called Lens Effects to edit my shots. It's nice because it has an actual lightsaber piece in the weapons panel. So it's a lot easier so you don't have to create a lightsaber in Photoshop for instance. Now what I'm doing here is placing a lightsaber that's white on the hilt of Obi-Wan's lightsaber there. What I can do is increase the brightness of the blade. However, I tone down the opacity to half. And then I put the colored blade on top of that and it gives a much stronger, brighter feel to it. However, with the white background, because it's so light, it makes the blade look perhaps too big. So what I'm gonna do in a moment is remove the white blade because it's only really good to use in a dark background, which most of your shots would have a darker tone than a blank white board like this one. I'm only using this one as, a, as an example. You'll see right here, I go to layers and I'm going to remove the first blade in a moment. I get the blue blade all lined up. Happy with where it is. And you see I take this one and create the layer invisible and it looks a lot better because of that white background. So what I typically like to do is line it up with the hilt so that it is straight and it's not coming out at a bent angle. You'll see what I've done is I took the lightsaber blades out of the handles when taking the shot because if the blade is bent at all it can really mess with the shot when you're trying to put the lightsaber in, in After Effects. So now we're gonna do Darth Maul's blade. And again, because of the white background, we're just gonna create the red blade for this one. And again, we're gonna line it up with the hilt so it doesn't look bent by any means. And you'll notice that the angle that I have Darth Maul holding his blade is gonna be a little bit shorter on this side because of it going away from the camera. And again, line it up right nice with the hilt. And you are able to mask these lightsaber blades, but for whatever reason, if you add a color to the blade and you try to mask it, it will remain white under the mask for some reason, I don't know. That's something that I think the editors or the app owners, I guess, need to work on and get it fixed. But if the blade is white, Ahsoka's for instance, and Rebels, then you're able to mask it. So this one I tried to match the color tone with the other blade. I'm gonna put it on, again, lining it up with the hilt. And for this one, because it has the dark uh, background with Maul in it for at least half the blade, I am going to add a white blade under the red one. I'm going to put the layer behind it so it doesn't appear overpowering the red blade. And it's going to line it up all the same. And it's going to really make the blade look a lot brighter and a lot stronger. You can zoom in get it lined up real nice with the hilt. And I prefer to use practical lighting to create the glow of the lightsabers, but sometimes that isn't really an option. And so what I do is I go over to the fire pack and grab the I believe that was plasma. And I'm gonna make it red and I'm gonna put it on uh, Maul's body and some on the ground uh, near the uh, blade so that it can make it appear that it's glowing on the figure and the ground. And you can always 
lower or raise the brightness if you want to make it if you want to make it a stronger brightness or a little bit lighter if it's a, a brighter picture then you're probably going to want a little bit less brightness because you don't want it to be um, too overpowering otherwise it won't make a lot of sense if it's a darker picture then you're going to want to increase the brightness you know for the lightsaber clash effect i'm going to actually use a lens flare on this one there's a whole bunch of different choices you got here. It's a, it's a great app for lens of flares. And because red and blue, you combine them, they can make purple. So that's the color I'm gonna go for. And you can choose any of these lens flares and you can change their color in the edit. So you can actually make whichever one you want appear purple. And then of course, again, you can lower the brightness if you want to make it not too uh, bright. I guess that's obvious. <laughs> what we can do now is add some sparks. You gotta put that layer in the back so that it's behind the blaze so it's not too overpowering the shot. This app also has a great selection of filters that you can use. I'm sorry that the screen is a bit cut off for you guys. It was really hard to try and put this uh, video together with the screen capture. For whatever reason, the phone won't uh, rotate on this app for, so I can only uh, do it in the face up position. Or the vertical position, sorry. We can also add, uh, I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, some Vignette, or Vignette. I, if you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments. Probably sound like an idiot. <laughs> and there you guys go. So that's how you can create some lightsaber effects. Do it however you want. And I'll put some uh, glam shots in the end of the video so you guys can see some examples of what I've done. I do a lot of photography on my Instagram. If you want to find me there, it's at twin underscore sons underscore collector. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And I've got lots of other tutorials and figure reviews on my YouTube here. So if you consider subscribing, that'd be great. And I want to thank at west.coast.figures on Instagram for requesting this idea. I hope it helped out. Have a great day.